Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel, Hold On. If you're not a Scorpio and you're watching this and you're wondering why it's a Scorpio reading, it's because they do 4,000 likes. So go to your videos and like that video of your own zodiac so you can get a back-to-back. -back. Okay. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Don't come at That is disrespectful to the Scorpios. Okay. People be hounding you guys for your success right for the things that i we just like our videos and how easy is that and then we get back to back reading right and then they don't go to their videos and then i don't understand i mean i publish all the zodiacs though so there is no favoritism here it's just a request meaning you guys are requesting you put it oh by the way we up it yesterday five thousand <laughs> So, I don't know if you guys can make it to the 5,000. <laughs> but yes, right? I uh, know, but it's already at 3-something now. So, I know within the 24 hours, you guys will deliver. Okay? Um, but yeah, so this is your back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, right? We did your Sun in Taurus, special edition for the transit. We did the Mercury retrograde special edition also. Everything is a special edition here. The Eclipse. Now, for this astrology, um, Scorpio, we're going to be looking at the one, the only, the best, of course, Venus. All right. As a transit. Okay. Because Venus is still in, uh, I believe, in its an exaltation revity. Okay. Wow. It's really pumping love. Okay. And pumping business. <laughs> okay. So, let's see what's going on for the Scorpio before we start. Mm-hmm. Um, everything is going to be in the description box below. And hold on because you know this channel has always been appreciative of you guys. If you are watching this in premiere right now, right? You guys are in the chat room right there. Within the next hour of the upload of this back-to-back, -back, the reading is only, the extended reading is going to be four ninety nine dollars only. This is just a thank you to everyone who supported this channel for the past five years. We're celebrating our fifth year anniversary. Fifth year anniversary. Okay. Love that. Um, and you can get extended within the hour for four ninety nine, and then it will come back to its regular price afterwards. So for me, without even watching the reading, go get it now before you even forget. So um, I want you guys to enjoy that. The other night, I did a $1 special because I love you guys. It was just random. I just did it. It's like, oh, you know, it's just for people who are, um, who are there and watching. So go get the extended. It's $4.99. And um, just to give you guys, you know, a return to the community. Okay. So um, let's uh, start reading the, the chart over here. Um, we're going to be looking at Venus, okay, in your chart. Um, what's the significance of Venus for you, for the Scorpio? Right now, it is an ex exaltation sign, which is in Pisces. What does it mean for um, Venus to be exalted? We're not looking at other planets. We're not going to be um, looking how it's conjunct or aspect. We're just looking at Venus right now. What is it doing to your zodiac? Now, Venus in Pisces, in its exaltation, it will give 100. So... Exaltation means it's just performing at its best. Now, other things in your life might affect it. You have Saturn aspect, you have Rahu aspect, you have this and that. Then, of course, that creates um, that creates an issue. I don't know, for some re whatever reason, like I have a phone ringing there and it's not my phone and it's just twinkling, twinkling little star right now. And it's kind of annoying, but Mercury is in retrograde. We got Mars in the forest ho fourth house, so a little bit testy and eclipse is happening tomorrow, right? So I hope it would shut down pretty soon. Thank you. Okay. Why is it still ringing? Okay. And I don't want to yell. Oh, it still just want to ring. Okay, I don't have control of anything in outside anyway. So anyway, so going back to Venus exaltation. Okay, well I am back. Okay, so sorry about the disturbance in the force, but Yoda had to come through. Okay, so no more disturbance. <sighs> <laughs> I act like a true Scorpio, right? I just buried it. <laughs> It'll never be found. Okay. 
Plus, I don't think it was ringing. It was an alarm. So it will never stop. <laughs> so it was ringing to do stuff. Anyhow. So let's uh, come back. Sorry for the disturbance. I mean, like, there's nothing. There's nothing that's going to be normal for the next five days. Our whole life will be flipped upside down. And this is something that we just have to brace for ourselves. Okay, so let's come back to Venus, goddess of love. <laughs> goddess of love. Um, but it's also Venus is the goddess of war. You know that it rules Anakshatra, which is in Sagittarius, which is the war law. Okay, you know that? Mm -hmm. Venus is not that nice, to be honest. Okay? <laughs> it is very calculative and it will try to serve its purpose. That's why um, people who have certain placements of Venus, um, they are the one who can have a narcissistic tendency or they are narcissists. Yes, Venus does that too, um, to a chart. Okay? So coming back to your transit here, um, with Venus exaltation, yeah, see? An exaltation can make that also. Let's just say, because right now it's in Pisces, right? And it's a Pisces ascendant, Venus exalted. Okay? <laughs> we don't know. Uh, how this person think about themselves? Mm, I'm just saying. So, but it doesn't mean they're a bad person. You understand me? But this are really like giving you the works of Venus, beauty. You know, the arts, the you know, how, the symmetrical face. Um, how to say this? The attractiveness, the pleasure. It can it, this can also lead to addiction? Venus in the natural twelve house can bring someone into. Um, you know, addictive behavior can be um, promiscuity also, you know. So those are the other sides of Venus. But other than that, Venus, of course, um, is the ruler of love and romance and partnership. So here in your transit, as it is exalted, you are in love. You're about to fall in love. You're about to meet someone who makes you feel that you guys belong to each other, which is very, very Venusian. The attraction, the chemistry is very strong. Um, I see here that with Venus in Pisces, ruler of your seventh, um, it, you know, it brings you a place, uh, it brings, this person brings something that in a way, almost like a friendly vibe. Because Venus in the fifth, and then it, Taurus seventh house for you is going to be, uh, how to say this, like third from the fifth. So I feel like very open communication um, there is a very uh, fluid and just go with the flow. So it might be uh, also your friend who's, uh, who's finding you attractive or someone you fall in love becomes even a friend. And they say, right, you marry your, you marry your best friend and then you divorce them because of your in-laws. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> okay. Marry your best friend, divorce because of the in-laws. No, um, this is just showing that there is a good uh, um, chemistry that the, that the two of you are sharing. Um, so that's good, right? Um, I feel like they're very outspoken right now. They're, they will exp uh, express themselves to you. Now, I'm not going to look at Jupiter there, but Jupiter is in its own home, also in your house of romance. So you may be dating or seeing uh, multiple partners. Okay. That's as far as I can see with your um, fifth house. Now, fifth house, of course, since it is exalted, um, this gives you the ability to be very, very creative in anything. Like unstoppable creative juices. Like you just, you know, it's almost like finding so much happiness and joy. And then, you know, uh, using this energy to become a business. This is where the business um, fifth house um, begin you know the speculation part should you take a risk this is the okay am i investing in a uh, stock market am i invest but these are all speculative business okay um this is about not gambling but more of like higher risk higher gains this is what you're doing here um you will have um venusian products can be what are venusian products um things for beauty Perfume, fashion, um, things also for um, health improvement. That's going to be Venus. Uh, Venus is also Apha, which is a, uh, water. So you may be connecting with something that is water. It's Venus in Pisces. Um, this is going to be interesting time for you to also um, influence in marketing. Okay, um, This is going to be high time for you to... Put yourself into different platforms in social media and a chance for you to be discovered or go viral 
or people look into your product because the creativity they just attract they find it very very attractive okay so now um let me see what else oh, okay so i think we can we can now continue to your um to your tarot it's gonna be different again because this is the um the venus is special okay so let me see what's oh let, let's get the message of the soulmate first mm -hmm. let's see here mm. you have your surrender oh how i wish i can do this right at times you must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work out okay so during the eclipse also this is a good this is a good time for us to release and let go um ha you know this is a very strong word to surrender because having you know when you're doing this you're really living uh living um with your faith or you're counting on like you know what everything is gonna be fine let go and let god so you have now remove um any kind of um, control and normally when we try to control that's the only time that we can have frustration in our life and when we're frustrated it manifests in different forms of energy and then this is a time where it's best for you not to um, push okay it's best for you just to lay low and step back for now okay uh, Mars is gonna go to your fifth house also in a couple of days okay so you will be unstoppable there Okay, let me see here. We're gonna go out in a lot of dates. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. And thank you very much for all the likes, guys. Don't forget, during the premiere, if you just tune in to the premiere, the extended here is discounted during the premiere edition, okay? And after that, it's gonna come back in the next hour from the upload. Let's see here. Ooh, the magician, a conduit okay manifester um who are the real magicians in the zodiac uh well um scorpios is of course because this is the natural eighth house the occult so um, you have the ability to create something out of nothing you mention something it starts to happen you think of something it starts to materialize um that's the magician you create reality out of nothing because it is from um as above so below it's very easy to manifest if you know what your heart is not about desire like your connection with the creator because the creator gives you everything that you need so if you have a connection with who has created you which is god then you're able to tap into the resources that will be available to you because you're following your life purpose so as a magician who's learning right now to manifest you scorpio what is it uh, you know, what is the reason why you're here? What are you manifesting? Okay. But so we're doing back to back. So the readings are going to be m evolving, you know, not just focusing on reconciliation, romantic career. It's going to go deeper and deeper because these are back to back to back. I cannot just predict your ex coming back yesterday and now today again. All right. So I'm going to show you guys the different tricks and trade. Okay. Now, having a magician, of course, I feel we need a crystal recommendation for what you're manifesting. Oh, I love this. Everything is just evolving. Oh, because I was a bored reader. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's why I opened OnlyFans. <laughs> okay. Just in case as a backup, backup career. So if you're manifesting right now, let's ask the oracle here what crystal, besides the rose quartz, which, I, you know, I'm doing that for the eclipse. Watch that one. Let me see. I'm going to get three crystal recommendations for you guys for what you are manifesting. Give it to the Scorpios what they need. Fluorite. Oh, I love fluorite. We have a ton of this. Okay. Fluorite, not fluoride. Okay. <laughs> so fluorite, um, the fluorite can be found only, I believe, in China. The real fluorite. Okay. It has purple. I have towers of this. I have tumble stones for this. It is just amazing. Okay. And look, it matches even the magician itself. Okay. So one is fluorite. Okay. So you already know what you're manifesting. I'm just giving you the puzzle pieces. Okay. That can connect you 
Mm -hmm. Crystal wise, frequency wise, because the crystals has gemstones. Okay. Give it to the Scorpios. Snowflake Obsidian. We have this also in uh, um, in towers also. This is lovely. Okay. Now, Fluorite and Obsidian, I feel like you are creating... Um, for some, this is a restaurant. This is something about food. Just this combination. Um, something about opening up a restaurant or, again, something about health and food. Okay. So, that's just, this is what I'm picking up. Because I read also the oracles. Before I started Tarot... I read Crystal Oracle cards. Okay. Mm. Mm. Be careful of your kidneys. They say Azurite. Okay. We have this also. Big ones of the Azurite. So if you are manifesting, uh, this is not about love. This is about success in money. This is what I'm feeling and protecting what your idea with the snowflake obsidian. I feel like these are the perfect combination. Now the Azurite over here shows real estate. Okay, this is about buildings and structure. Now, this one is about the food. And this one is just uh, is for protection of what... Uh, you always need a protection when you're manifesting. Uh, that's, that's just the number one thing. You know, you don't just bring in. You have to um, block everything first so that only, you know, the true essence or the true... What, uh, what is meant for you will come. Not the other things because some is like, okay, hey, you don't want that. Okay. So this uh, blue here also, this azurite, I feel like this is um, this is someone who's also trying to manifest better health. So azurite is going to be good. Um, the snowflake obsidian here um, for mental clarity. This is what I'm seeing. And these are for people who's also suffering. I don't know. It looks like fungi. <laughs> Can you go to the doctor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... Um, this is that. Now, this one, I feel like for people who's experiencing something to, related to their issues with their belly, okay? But I'm not a doctor. Crystals, you know, this is different. This is frequency. So go get your doctor, okay? Go to a health physician, okay? Um, this three combination is going to be good, okay? It's all the same color, okay? So as above, so below. Okay, because we already have the rose quartz. Remember that? I still have it on my table, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. The rose quartz for the romance. Okay. All right, so I'll put this here. I'll put the link in the description box for these crystals that you would need, okay, as a magician. This is the infinity. So this is a death and rebirth process. Okay. Okay. You have the Nine of Cups. Look at that. Really wishes being granted. There's a um, uh, chest full of treasures over here. Now, wishes can come in different ways. So, um, you will receive a positive news, um, Scorpio. Um, I feel like this is a symbol of being uh, ecstatic, excited, you know, like free. Um, finally, you reach the top. This is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six of Swords. And the, oh, first time I see Three of Pentacles. So this is uh, starting a company, a, a group project over here with the Three of Pentacles. The Six of Swords, I feel like it requires for you to, um, it you you would go on a, on a trip or vacation before you can get back to work. Something about, oh, I need to, I need some time out. I'm going to go time out. And then this can be your work, your office, or your clients. You know, they're expecting you to return. But this is, he's like, oh, I finally are able to travel. Go away and quit, you know, some quiet peace of mind with the Six of Swords, okay? You have the Hermit, yeah, quiet, you know, so you want just, you want to be, you want some time out. That's the Hermit, to clear your head, your, you know, to process things in life. The Three of Pentacles, everything works out, I feel, even without your supervision, if it's a business. Um, if it's about uh, starting a project, I feel like there are people that you can really trust, but you are in control of this. They're also saying that you are ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, see? Business success. Ace of Pentacles. So manifesting of coins. Okay, so let's see the crystal recommendations for this. Because I this came after this. Okay. So this is business, right? We already um for people who connect with that one. Okay. Now these are just gonna be specific for um I'm hearing Moldavite. I mean, we just... Uh, oh, Carnelian also is here uh, coming out. Um, but I'm hearing Moldavite. For people who knows how to um, how to connect with Moldavite, 
Um, this is going to be very, very good. It is a very high frequency. Actually, it's a tektite, you know. It's not a crystal because it came from, uh, I believe, it. Uh, what, it, it the meteor hit, right? Um, planet Earth, and then it has transformed the sand, melted it, and it became a multivibe. So it is uh, definitely not from Earth, high frequency, okay? You have here selenite. Ooh, love this. Um, who has a selenite on their table? Thank you. <laughs> so selenite for people who are manifesting coins and business. Okay, wow. Again, okay, we're evolving with the way that we read here, Sal. We love it. Are you love? Are you liking this? Better like it, boo. Okay. So selenite is very healing and cleansing. So I use this for well, amethyst. You don't need to cleanse. You tap it and then, you know, things, um, I always carry uh, selenite also around me. We have this at the store. Um, uh, with, this, with selenite, is very angelic. Mm -hmm. The biggest, largest uh, deposit from what I know of selenite, okay, one, we do get some from uh, Morocco. But here in America, I believe in, in Carlsbad. Carlos, well, Carlos, um, in New Mexico. <laughs> so there is a big deposit. It's actually... Um, it's not also a crystal. I believe this is made uh, more of a sodium, okay, like same as a salt. Okay, I think that's what it's selling. Very angelic, um, clearing of energy. So I wave this wand around me, okay, or to people. Sometimes I do that, uh -huh. um, you know, just to clean, cleanse the art. So it's like a magnet for cleansing. Now, if you're using this for business, okay, I feel like this is more of unlocking um, keys and um, opportunities for you so this is gonna be good selenite it okay so that's that one okay. now there is also a significant message from a loan uh, this is gonna be handed to you an investor with the ace of Pentacles um, if you are looking for a new partner this is that one judgment you're doing the right thing um, you are also probably doing some astral projects projection okay like sometimes you, you feel you're not there you're not present um, it only goes to show that you are definitely um, like, you know, you're going through this deep meditative state of um, bliss. So good time to meditate, especially K2 is in Libra for the Scorpio. Emperor, business and success is here. You are taking command of your life. You are strong-willed with an emperor. The emperor is very disciplined. So you got money in your mind and that's it. Basically, you're saying... And the lovers, of course. Anytime that the Scorpio has money in their mind, a lovers comes through. Mm-hmm. See, no, it teach a distraction of your life. You could have met this person at work, Three of Pentacles, and the lovers. Okay? So look at you. You are falling in love, Scorpio. And someone is in love with you. Mm. You have your Three of Wands. So your expectation. You have expectation to see this person. They're far from you. I feel like this is just a tip of the iceberg between um, two two people connecting, okay? We saw that the rose quartz was the other crystal that we were, um, I would call this, uh, we were manifesting uh, with for a romantic connection. Um, the tree is a gateway here. Um, you would need, again, to take some time out, okay? Um, this, for me, this is like Malibu vibes, okay? Very bougie, okay? Because that's how I see it. I, that's how I see it, okay? Laguna Beach, maybe, okay? Um, or Florida, then West Palm, West Palm Beach, right? <laughs> okay, so, but anyway, um, I see here like you are, um, you're always trying to find um, something that connects you, that grounds you. And with the Hermit and the Three of Wands, it feels like a relationship is something that grounds you. Something that makes you feel human and real again. Because you have been disconnected. Because you are practicing this whole like uh, magician mode. You're really working hard to attract, to attract, to attract. So there are different remedies, of course, that you can do. When you're doing remedy, it's only attracting the karma. It's not removing the karma. You attract it in a different way instead of a surprise, it's here. So if you're doing some remedy with regards to relationship or business, you're just attracting it more towards you. But it's already destined for you because the remedy won't work if it's not destined for you. Okay? So the three of wands and the, the lovers over here can be a foreign, different ethnic background from you. can be someone who's European also. Judgment with the nine of cups over here. I need you to 
constantly be active. These are singing bowls, I feel, like clearing of frequency. You don't need to buy a singing bowl, but you can listen to like YouTube or Apple Music, not sponsored, Spotify, not sponsored. Maybe we should work together. Okay. The frequencies heals you every time. And because K2 in the 12th house, you need this zone. The more that you are cleansed at night, the more that you attract the prosperity. We love a good prosperity cell. Exactly, do it, okay? So cleansing the vibration, the energy. Of course, um, you know, Epsom salt bath, but this is more of inside your head. This is what I'm seeing for the Scorpio. And you're just releasing each part of like chambers. This is what I'm seeing inside your head. The reading is never complete without the blessing of Lord Ganesha. Of course, before we go to the extended, I'll do the grand reveal also. Oh, so we're just starting. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Push pa more, right? Someone works hard. Okay. So remember, if you're watching this during the premiere, get the extended already. I will I will share more mystic knowledge of manifestation if what comes out. Okay. Do expect I'll share more. Okay, in the extended. So right now it's discounted right there. So go before it becomes regular this is for every scorpio thank you let's see what's the message of lord ganesha spiritual quest see i keep telling you the blessing will come towards you provided that you follow your spiritual belief okay so this is a time where your journey okay in life really takes you to the next level you are guided right now to pursue okay a path that not everybody will because this is a spiritual quest. Ask yourself right now what are your guides telling you and what direction of life they want you to go towards. Okay. All right. So I'm going to get the okay, other tarot over here. Okay. And Venus, I believe, what number is Venus? Venus is six? No. Six? Okay. Since we are connecting with Venus... Okay, and I do practice recently numerology. Numerology, you just did it once and now you're numerology. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say that. <laughs> so, as a numerologist, <laughs> it's not, no, I'm not. not. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do with the vibration of Venus because numbers has vibrations as like frequencies. So, six Venus is the planet of billionaires, according to Miss Joni Padri, wonderful astrologer. To she has a channel too. Three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. Okay. Ooh, Three of Pentacles really working hard. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four. I'm hearing like success will follow you, Scorpio. So you don't have to run okay, from success. They're coming. Two, four, five, six. Okay, so I did the vibration here for Venus. Okay, six cards for all. And I will answer more of Oracle. Okay, so the extended becomes deeper and deeper. So it becomes more and more connected to what you are manifesting together with the tools because uh, a magician really has the tools so don't forget snowflake obsidian azurite fluorite and selenite all this will be in the description box below i'll call it the um magician magician club <laughs> magician collection so this is going to be for the people who are working and you know he's interested in that work okay so, and you won't get it until after the eclipse. I'll just put this together with the rose quartz order. Okay, die. Okay. So, don't want to ship. I'll ship it after the eclipse. Okay, because the eclipse is happening in the 15th. So, join me in the extended. Link down there in the description box below. Make sure to check it out. Um, you know, especially now within the hour while you're watching this, while it's still discounted. And then, um, it's going to go back to its regular. Thank you very much, Scorpio, for getting me to the 5,000 likes. I appreciate everybody. And I will continue to even push the readings in a different level like nobody has ever seen. If you guys want me to start doing the, what do you call that? Um, when I start writing, um, graphy it's called. It's a uh, graphy. Okay. <laughs> not not jiffy. <laughs> Cartomancy. Um, car no. Yeah, but you know, you, you remember when I used to do that and I just channeled the message. Mm. 
But yeah, so I know lith lithomancy. Oh, by the way, lithomancy is what it's called when you're doing readings from uh, crystals. And this is crystal work. Okay. Psychography. There we go. I remember now. Psychography. Okay. So if you guys want to do the psychography next time, I will show you guys the works that I have never even shown to the planet because they were not ready before. But the Scorpio is. Okay. So I will see you in the extended. Let's continue manifesting. These are good cards. Ace of Pentacles, the lovers. You're doing the right thing with the judgment. Emperor, you're taking over something big in life and you're ready for this. Okay? I'll see you guys again. Bye.